Hello, everybody. Um, I wanted to not necessarily apologize, but I wanted to explain like where my head at and where it's been for like the last week. So first of all, when I did the artwork, I knew like there would be some upset people or whatnot, uh, simply because, you know, religion is a very sensitive topic for a lot of people. But I also didn't mean to like mock. This wasn't like a you to you people, um, you to the Christians. Like, you know, it wasn't, it was not that. It was literally me saying, oh, I'm back. I'm back like Jesus. Like that was like the whole thing. I'm not the first person to dress up as Jesus. I'm not the first rapper. I'm not the first artist and I won't be the last. Um, and I know like given my history, with you know the call me by your name video anything that i do related to religion can be seen as like mockery that just was not the case with this and i will say though with the communion video with me eating the crackers and juice i uh i thought that video was going to be the video to lighten the mood to take it down like less serious or whatnot i thought that was something that we all wanted to do with kids or whatnot, but I didn't understand the idea of, um, you know, the reality of what it is. You know, it's me eating the commune, which is like the symbolism of like Jesus's blood and, and bones or something like that. I don't remember com completely, but um, I did not mean it to as like a cannibalism thing or whatever the freak. But I do apologize for that. I will say I am sorry for that. That that was overboard. Though I'm, I don't agree with all of Christianity's rules or whatnot. I know not everybody follows Christianity by the book 100%, or you know the world would be a lot crazier. Um, but I do apologize for that. Uh, what was I going to say? This is not like to try to get everybody on my good side or whatnot. This is more so to clear my own head about my own decisions. I know. I know like, you know, I, I messed up like really bad this time. Um, and I can act unbothered all I want, but it's, it's definitely like taking a mental toll on me. Uh, what else do I want to say? Um, I know this is not going to be like an immediate, like swift, everybody like moves forward or whatnot, but I do want my Christian fans to know that I am not against you. I was put on this earth to, you know, bring people closer together and promote love. And like, that's, that's who I am. I'm, I'm not like some, I'm not like some evil demon guy trying to destroy everybody's values and stuff like that. That's, that's not me. Uh, what else was I going to say? Yeah, um, and also with the video, there's no disrespect there. I thought me clearly not being on the side of the devil in that video was the, I don't know, was, was like there was an understanding there that I'm not like trying to diss uh, Christianity. Um, what was I going to say? What else? Uh, this is, this is, this is also, this is not like something I wrote down or whatnot. This is something off the top of my head. I'm trying to get out. Uh, lastly, again, I, I hope sooner or later we can move forward and I'm excited for the rest of, uh, this era and things I have planned and Hey baby. Um, yeah, I mean, that's, that's all I have to say for right now. I'm sending you guys love, I'm sending my fans love. I'm sending the people. Um. So before I even start, I just want to say I forgive Lil Nas X, bro. I forgive him because this is what God will want me to do, right? And I forgive him because he don't know any better, right? He's a young man. He's living his life. The riches, the money, the music, the attention. The Lord Jesus said, forgive them, Father, for they know not what they do. Right. And that was in text for that was in context for what Jesus was saying. But it's such a general statement for people who aren't aware of what they're doing in this world following 
the God of this world, which is not Jesus. It's a whole other topic. Not really, but, you know, it's important, too, to pray for Lil Nas X because I think most people uh, believe Christians just want to condemn people to hell. And that's not our job to do, right? Our job is to forgive, to love, but to uh, judge righteously. Most people pull up the scripture about one cannot judge a parent, right? But they finish, they don't finish the rest. We don't judge one's appearance, but we judge with righteous judgment. The Lord gave us that, uh, you know, he told us to do that in Matthew. I have a few scriptures I want to share. And, you know, this, this I'm not going to front and act like this ain't hurt me. He's not hurting Christians, but himself and God, Right. But when I say hurt me, it's more so like if someone disrespects your mom and mocks her in a video, like making fun of her, whether they choose to think it's an admiration to her, but you notice that it's mocking her and other people are making a mockery of it, that's going to hurt. So this is the God who gave all of us life, whether we believe in him or not. It hurts, bro, because you're saying you're on the side of Jesus and you thought it was evidence in the video. How, when you're dressing as a woman, when these logos that you're using is strictly from Satan, is the Baphomet head. You could check out my last video I made, just uh, showing showing exactly what that logo represents, right? But He started the video with saying this is not really an apology. It, it, it also seemed like saving face, you know, for his fans, for his supporters, not Christians. And true Christians don't listen to his music. Notice what I said. True Christians, disciples of Jesus Christ, not people who label themselves as Christians as it's some type of like, I was born into this religion. That's not how Christianity works. Just notice what he said about all religions that he know it's a sensitive topic, yet he does it anyway. Right? And notice, it's deeper than just religions. He only does it to Christianity. His last videos, his new videos, the promotion was very... It's not religion, it's just Christianity. He's not attacking Islam. He's not attacking Buddhist Buddhism. He's not attacking Hinduism. He's not attacking Satanism. He's literally only attacking Christians. Christianity, I should say. Forget Christians, but Christianity. The reason why I said these people aren't true Christians that listen to him is because. So Jesus said to the Jews who had believed him. If you abide in my word, you are truly my disciples. And you will know the truth and the truth will set you free. I'll get back to that verse. I want to share this. If anyone serves me, he must follow me. Where I am, there will be my servant be also. There will my servant be also. If anyone serves me, the father, the, the father, the father will, will honor him. Excuse me. Sorry, y'all. And by this, we know that we have come to know if we keep his commandments, whosoever says I know him but does not keep his commandments is a liar. And the truth is not in him, but whosoever keeps his word in him, truly the love of God is perfected. By this we may know that we are in him. Whosoever says he abides in him ought to walk in the same in which he walked. Notice all of this is saying to follow him. Whosoever does not bear his own cross and come after me cannot be my disciple. Jesus Christ died on the cross for us. That wasn't something to, because you hung on the cross, true followers of Jesus Christ know that's blasphemy. Or you're mocking Jesus. He did the, he paid the price on the cross. This is, this is serious. Everything in the comments on this TikTok was this of art, is art, is art, is art. Hebrews 9, 27, for it is appointed once unto men to die. After this, the judgment. This life is, this Sorry, y'all, my kid's screaming. But this life is not about games, right? We can have fun. We can enjoy ourselves. But it's in the confines of truly being obedient to the Lord Jesus Christ. And true disciples follow him, right? We are saved by grace through faith. 
not of works least any man should boast we can't brag about what we have done on this earth to be good people nobody is a good person we've all done evil we've all thought evil we've all gossip so what percentage of you makes you good it's none the only way we are good is by and matter of fact it's no way the only way we are imputed righteousness is through jesus christ belief in him that's it salvation is a free gift we can go to heaven for free how how salvation is free because jesus paid uh the court the, he paid the price on the uh, cross excuse me but but true faith you will be his disciple true faith will walk with walk with him salvation is free but being a disciple you have to truly walk with him this is why in the scripture he says i never knew you because you never actually have faith you never actually followed him so i pray Lil nas x i pray the lord softens his heart man i pray for this young man like this this that's saying it bro i'm i'm not gonna lie i'm i'm annoyed <laughs> i'm be honest with y'all i'm annoyed at this apology i'm annoyed at the people in the comments i'm only human being a christian is not about being perfect but i'm annoyed because i truly walk with the lord jesus christ as as a disciple of christ who stumble who fail because you know why the scripture says we all fall short of the glory of god so no works or actions we do can get salvation maintain our salvation right but true disciples follow the lord jesus christ but i forgive him bro you don't know what he's doing i forgive him and anybody who don't understand i pray that the lord softens your heart we all die eventually bro so hopefully people find it in this life the truth if not man i truly pray bro i pray for the people in the comments i pray for Lil Nas X. I love this young brother I don't know him. God bless y'all. I'm out. And death will fade away. No Jerusalem was saved. Thinking about the heaven gates. Out the water, I was saved. I'm walking in your laws. Rejoicing in you, Lord. Bless all my testimonies.